Okay, now that we know how to bounce down one shots and organize them into folders neatly, we need to load them into our sampler. In Logic's case, that's the EXS24. So go ahead and pull one of those up. Uh, once you do, scroll over to the right hand side and click on the edit button. It's right here. You get an edit window that pops up with some different features, um, but click on zone, load multiple samples. And this is why you need to know where your samples are at because you have to go and find them. Um, in this case, they're on my backup drive, so I need to find my master folder. Drum samples, parentheses, slicks, that's it. You see I click on it, my kits pop up. Uh, I want Anthem Kit 1, I click on that, my samples pop up. So I need to highlight those samples, then I click Add, uh, and Done. Okay, you'll get another little feature menu that pops up. It's not too important, just make sure uh, the third feature, Contiguous Zones, is selected. Your zone width is set to 1, and go ahead and start on Note C1. Um, that's a good, good starting point. Click OK, and they are now loaded into my EXS24. Um, it gave them a name, instrument number 954, but that really doesn't tell us anything about the nature of the kit. So we want to go ahead and rename that. If I click on my edit window again, uh, and I scroll over here to my instrument drop down, and click save as, I can now rename that kit. So we'll go ahead and call it Anthem Kit. And now I have my samples loaded up in my sampler with the right name. Um, they're properly organized on my computer and I can access them anytime I want.